What's up all my nerd friends out there, this is Mr. Chili here, I want to give you guys my review and thoughts on DC Multiverse Go Label Metello, and this Metello is a uh, Target exclusive item, and it's a more classic version, classic version of Metello, and it's okay, you know, this is not my favorite version of Metello, but I got it a good deal on Target, like I said, they've been having a good sale over there right now, I got this for like 12 bucks, and I liked it. I like that for that price, you know, but it's a simple design. I think they used a Lex Luthor body or something. That kind of, it looks familiar. This body looks familiar, but I did like the head sculpt a little bit. You can see his teeth grinding like and the eyes glaring out of it. That's pretty cool, but the body is simple. Not that much heads hand swaps. I wish it was in a head swap, like a messed up face under it. You see his human face. I kind of wish it came, came with kryptonite. I kind of wish you could open his chest and put that kryptonite in him or something like that. That would be pretty cool as well. Could a little fact of the piece because I know Metello has a, a kryptonite crystal inside his like chest piece. And I would that would be pretty cool. You could open it, open close it and all that for the crystal um kryptonite to pop out. That would be dope. But there's many versions of Metello out there and this is like kind of like uh, McFarlane going to classic route first. I have a feeling he's gonna do more Metello down like the more hardcore version of Metello. Uh, the way he looks like half human, half android look. You know that's basically McFarlane style. You know he's gonna do the version like that. I kind of hope he does a new 52, like the big ass robot one. That one I kind of like. It has like he looks like huge. I'll be a good mega fig to him do. I will like that. I, would, I hope he does like the half human, half machine one look too. That kind of like a tournament look link looking like one that'd be dope but hopefully he does more metellos down the line because yeah i think you could army build metello i think there's like a couple of like like robots of him out there like that could army build them maybe but hopefully we get more superman villains down the line as well like i want another general zod i know mcfarland did one a long time ago that wasn't that great give us another general zod with a cloth cape that's good poseable and all that stuff that'll be dope like i would love another general zod awesome and hope we get live wire as well come on we need some more female villains out there we don't got the many I, I, how many female villains we got i can't really remember how many we got but live wire will be a nice addition definitely we've been getting a lot of superman villains lately and it'll be nice to add to the roster of villains live wire will be nice to add in the collection it's a simple design as well put a little lightning effects around here a nice body be nice but comment below give me your guys thoughts what do you guys think about this metallo do you like it do you hate it it's uh it's it to me get it for the right price 12 bucks nice added the villain connection i like it the little super uh, man rogues gallery i like it like that but simple it's whatever give it a good price in my book but comment below give me your guys thoughts on this dc multiverse gold label metallo but thank you all for watching i love talking nerd stuff with you all hope you have a good day and a good night remember stay nerdy forever and nerds for life bye